all the booty this week and literally touching the beam roof of the car, man. So we got six crates of dairy. All the booty, it, it I ain't even touching the roof. So we got six crates of dairy, one cart full of bread, plus one box. And then we got uh, about four boxes of produce. Five boxes of produce, I mean, yeah, five boxes of produce, and, uh, yeah, and then three crates of daily, three crates of, 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 of uh, da daily, and, uh, and then, like, five boxes of produce, and a grocery car and a box for bread. Show up to the park and I had a flat tire. At least I made it here with all the foods. The food is here, everybody. I got a flat tire. I believe it's crazy comments I get sometimes, people. What's up, Rock Club Foundation? I can't believe the crazy comments I get sometimes on my YouTube channel. It's like it's really crazy these people are like, doesn't even know what's going on. Maybe it's my, maybe I need to explain it more. I don't know. But, uh, so this is what I'll be doing. So, you know, basically I have a non-profit organization, right? The national non-profit organization. I help, you know, organize like community things across America, throughout the United States. Even when I was here giving out food in Seattle, I still was kind of help inspire it and help been a part of it and and when I got back in town I continued to come back and help organize and pass out food and pick up food from the um you know the store so I pick up you know my whole car full of food you guys seen last yesterday's video right but now the food is empty right there's no food in here I you know I showed up at the park I deliver it even on a spare tire, right? Even on, on a flat tire. It was a flat tire to deliver the food to. On a flat tire. I drove a mile. I should have told this in the video, but I did drive like a mile on a flat tire thinking, if I ruin this rim right here, this rim is probably a cheap rim. At least the food people get fed. And, um, but that was kind of a bad decision on my part. But, you know to drive my car with a flat tire because I was like a mile away from a park and people was counting on me and then I would have took a lot of time to unload the vehicle in traffic and there's nowhere to park in Seattle that's another reason I drove it because there's like literally nowhere to park in downtown Seattle and so this is my spare tire I just pulled it out I just got changed but I still got to get my alignment done in order to keep the car running and who knows all the problems are coming up my, my my lower control arm is still adding up which is going to cost you know maybe a thousand dollars to get fixed so really i do need a new car but food to the park i passed it out to the hundreds of people at the park maybe you know yeah there's you know 50 people left by the time i you know got there but there i got there you know, because, you know, I didn't want to be late to the park and people, you know, with the food that is donated by the, uh, because, yeah, I'm the, you know, and I, you know, I help organize all this stuff. This is all a community effort, you know, I'm not the only one. There's Paul, there's other people at the park, there's that guy the guitar. You guys can see the other video I made right, with talking, you know, waiting in line at, for free food. There's other videos of me doing videos at the park. There also my house in Detroit where I ran a community center for a, a farm, community farm, for I took in everybody that's homeless or in need, whether it be animals or people or whatever it is. And that was a mistake. That was a mistake because of the fact that um the fact that uh you know the people don't understand what's going on and they get crazy and they I don't know when you kick them out we're not following the rules they get mad and they come back 
And yeah, they burn down your house, they kill your goats, you know, because they get mad because they won't, they won't let them in the, in, back. And I'm like, well, you mad because I, I, I helped you and then I won't help you anymore. So that's why you mad. Because I won't help you. I, I, well, well, most people would never help you in the first place because of that. You know, most people would never help anybody, you know. But, you know, I try to help bring people together, make a world a better place, you know. In spite of, you know, everything that could go wrong, does go wrong. But I still, you know, working for years to bring people together, make the world a better place. You know, we, in spite of, you know, of all my disabilities and hang-ups and, and all the things I have to go through to, you know, this is, this is my YouTube channel. This is my personal YouTube channel. These are my hang-ups and likes. I still got to get these cut bins back to the food bank, but back to the uh, grocery store. But I get them back there when I get, um next week so yeah they you know this is what god this is what we do man this is what we do you know is you got to help people you got to help be compassionate and you can't be sitting here because you can't be looking at what other people are doing wrong and just completely assume that i'm doing something wrong and i don't know what i'm doing because do you know what you're doing all the time do you know what you're doing right you know? Yeah, no, you don't know anything, do you? I mean, you just quit assuming that I know what I'm doing wrong. I mean, these videos are not a live stream, right? So me sitting in a park a lot, explaining the situation after the fact, is that is it happened after the fact, right? That's, I think that's another thing that people are confused about, like the timeline of the video. The video was filmed over a course of like two days. Making a video, you can see the, the crates in the background, but they was empty, right? They, all the crates was empty, you know? If I was making a video with my car full, it would have been filled up to here. You know, you seen how much food it was. I was just sitting in a parking lot complaining about my diet being broken while food is wadding in the back of the car. Like, I'm not that irresponsible. Like, it's kind of offending me that people think that mm, I might be that irresponsible. Yes, you know, some things I do seem kind of irresponsible, but I'm actually trying to do a lot of things that are actually responsible, but... You know, maybe irresponsible to to deliver food to the park when you barely have a running vehicle, but it's better than the people starving. That's all I can say, right? You know, you know, but at least it runs okay. So, and if you want to help me get a better vehicle, get this one fixed. You know, there's links in the description. But I'm doing okay. I'm doing. Okay, I guess. At least I have a car. At least I was am able to help other people. And that's the blessing. Is that the fact that you are able to help others. But. So. Please like, subscribe, share the video. I don't know. Maybe I had a mistake making this video. But maybe I should have made this video. Because I feel like. For some reason, people didn't understand everything that ha went on in the last video. Made it to the park, people. Here we go. We got all the free food at the park, people. Free food at the park. Free, free, free. Got done helping carry all these boxes over here. Everybody's setting up. We got oh, setting up food and stuff. Uh, yeah. I feel like this is going to be the salsa table. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a little bit of coronation always beforehand. Every time we do this, it seems like it changes up a bit, a little bit. But, you know, um, so um, I've got to get out of the phone to help move and coronate boxes and stuff. So.